Welcome back, everybody. So now I've got the portal out of there. So it's cleared up. So this is where my cathedral is going to go. And it literally will take up this whole spot. So we're going to have the road. This is going to continue on down this way. So we'll do like this. I may end up doing like a small, you know, cemetery around here. And I've got to do this funny little, uh, you know, extend the road all the way out and over because the, uh, the building is too big to push any farther that way. I literally, 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 that sounds horrible. I literally, how's that? I can, how's that for speaking properly or enunciating, I think is the term. Okay. The, uh, yeah, the end of the cathedral is going to come over here. If I push it any farther, it goes into the wall. So I've moved it over as far as I can, which means the center of the building is right here. So I'm going to have to push this road out further. So I'm just do this, just kind of break it up and then... there and I don't like the way this ends up here let's do that and then maybe let's do a little bit of a transition and I'm not going to be able to build or I'm not even going to try to uh, build any of this on camera. I am going to do the, all of this in a time lapse. Good old fashioned time lapse. Because I could try, you know, building it little bit by little bit and showing you everything, but I think it's just going to work better if I just do a time lapse so you can watch me build it from afar. And then we'll come in here. Uh, we'll give a tour and then just so some details and probably polish up a few things because I'm sure there's some stuff that needs to be polished up and finished. Oh, and then I'm going to have a plan for some occupants inside the building. And that's definitely going to take a bit of time because I haven't even figured out how I'm going to get those in there yet. So without any further ado, this is going to be a super time lapsey, lapsey, time lapsey musical episode. So that's going to take up probably almost all of the episode or all of the episode. So sit back, grab a cup of coffee or a beverage or, or whatever you want. Relax and enjoy.
There we are. One zombie cathedral. That took me quite a while to build. It's not completely finished, but I've got the outline all done. So I hope you enjoyed that time lapse of that. There's a few things I need to add. I need to have like a porch right here. So this will be a little covered area going into the building. Lots of landscaping to do. I'm going to have to add dirt or something. I need to get rid of all this snow. Bad snow. Bad snow. So I think a lot of moss carpet's going to go through here. And then some trees and that kind of stuff. Uh, usually you would have like a cemetery out here. No cemetery because this is a zombie church. So you'll go through here. I've got some uh, designs for this area. So like it's, it's kind of like an unfurnished building. And then you get into the main cathedral part right here. Where you got the big zombie. We'll have uh, pews all along there. These walls are a little flat, so I'll do a, another design on there. And then you'll get all the way up here, and there will be the, uh, I guess the altar, or where the zombie preacher will be. Or the, I guess it's a normal preacher, it's not a zombie. So we don't, we don't really have zombies running the church, it's a church about zombies. Or a church where they worship zombies, I guess. Because villagers are scared of zombies. Somehow these villagers got convinced that zombies were their, uh, they weren't their enemy, they're their salvation. So, but who knows, it's crazy, crazy, crazy villagers. So, and you know, this uh, zombie church cult has kind of taken over a lot of places. A lot of my cities have, oh, there's a missing pane of glass there. Oh, another one here. I wonder why. Like I said, this uh, zombie church cult has shown up in quite a few towns, so it's kind of widespread through the country. But then when you go down here, I've got the big underground area. So this is the uh, this is the area I cleared out last episode or the episode before, one of the prior episodes. I cleared all this out. Still need to level it off. So I will level this off. This is going to be a big wall here. And I need to finish that wall over there. So this is the underground part of the church, which is going to be the catacombs. So this is going to be catacombs down here where all the, with, oh, Enderman, Urgh, my nemesis. But anyhow, this will all be flattened out. There'll be catacombs, cata, catacombs, catacombs through here. So I need to level this out and then we'll put a big underground catacomb area. But maybe this part here would be like where the priests. So I'm going to have some living quarters for the priests and stuff. And I just need, I didn't plan for a, uh, a way down to the catacombs. So I'm going to have to figure that out. That may be outside. Sometimes they don't have the entrance to the catacombs in the church. So I've got a lot of room. Do I have any room over here? Not so much on that side, but... I do have a lot of room right here. So I could build like a mausoleum because I was trying to figure out what to build here. So I could put another ma like a mausoleum here and that would go down into the catacombs. Because the catacombs are very important for these people. So. And you'll find that once I build it. So, so I think that's all I'm going to do for today. I just want to give you that nice time lapse of me building this thing. This was a, a lot of material to gather. So that took a while. So I've been gathering. I, I had this design all built and creative before I even started this upper area. I think I was, I built that way back when I was still working. Uh, yeah, when well, I was still working on the first layer. So ever since I've been working down there, even before I started doing the garden and stuff, I have been collecting materials and all the materials have gone into these boxes over here, which I, you may have noticed in other episodes. So it took quite a while to get the material. And then once I got the material, I had it took quite a while to build. So a little bit here, a little bit there, but it's all done now. So now I can just go through and start 
doing the detail work, decorating it. I think I need a little more thing on the outside. So I got some more plans on the inside. And I do need to gather some zombies because there are going to be some zombies in here, but I'm, and I need to get some villagers. So I've got the villagers down there. I may have to I may have to breed some more villagers for this place. I'm going to need I'm going to need quite a, a few villagers up here if I want to finish finish this off properly. So until next time, where we'll be working on the interior. I want to thank you all for watching. So have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye bye.